Welcome to Jolly Jan's video blog. Good morning. This is Jolly Jan from the sunny North Carolina. Many of you probably don't know this. I am not from the U.S. As a matter of fact, I was born and raised in Taiwan. I came to the U.S. at age 21 and have been living in the U.S. about 22 years or so. So that's probably the reason that you can hear my beautiful accents from time to time. Today what we're going to talk about is helpful people. Helpful people. I will take you through my personal experience of finding the helpful people and I'll give you a process of locating the right helpful people for you. And at the end, we'll give you a little bit of challenge to do. Now many years ago, many, many years ago, I was working for an $8 billion company as a director of information systems. At the time, I worked for my boss, Paul, who is the vice president of information systems. He's the greatest guy to work for, very, very nice, but somehow I felt like I'm not learning as much as I possibly could from him. And I knew that I wanted to have additional learning, but I don't know what to do. So, I did the unthinkable. I called Barbara. Barbara is Paul's boss. She, at the time, was the chief information officer in the entire North America. I went to her, not really quite sure how to articulate what kind of needs that I help. But instead, I asked her a question, a point blank question. Barbara, would you be my mentor? And, of course, Barbara said, yes. Now, Barbara had opened up many many doors for me, not necessarily from promotion within the company. She nominated me to become a member of Society of Information Management. In addition to that, she enrolled me into a nine-month leadership program called Regional Leadership Forum. You can only be enrolled in the program unless you have someone nominated you to go into the program. Within that nine months leadership form program, I read 35 books, not to mention facilitated numerous different discussions among peer groups. The most important thing that I got out of that was I gained mentors outside of the company I was working for at the time. In addition to that, I gained peer group support. Many of the people in the group with me are also director or even vice president of the information system for the company that they were working for at the time. I got 20-some odd group, peer group support. One thing that got me out of the entire program was I was able to clarify my personal goals and objectives for life. Unfortunately, after that nine months program, I got much clearer about where I wanted to go in life. I left the company that I worked for and restarted my own company. Surround yourself with helpful people. That has always been my motto in life. I don't believe any one of us need to walk on a journey alone. Invite someone else to into your journey and have them help you out. But there are many, many, many people out there how do you possibly pick out which one is going to work best for you? I have came up with a chart called Helpful People Locator. You can find this Helpful People Locator right at my blog in this article below the, below the video. On the chart, you will see in the vertical side, it is the technical skill and knowledge. It goes from low to high. On the vertical side, on the horizontal side of the chart, you will see leadership skill goes from low to high as well. And there are four general categories in this chart. The first category is consultant. Consultant is someone who has high technical skill, but low leadership skill. 
They are someone who can do the work for you. And they are somewhat tactical in nature. Tactical means that they will do things for you on the implementation of whatever you're trying to accomplish, most likely within one year period of time. For example, today I have a two consultants working for my company. They are a programmer as well as project manager. They are the one that in charge to develop applications for our company. And they are waiting for my direction to tell them what to do as far as the program. Now let's jump to the next category called advisor. Advisor is also someone at the higher scale of the, lead, uh, of the technical skill, but they are also high scale in the leadership skill. What do I mean by that? Advisor also can do the work for you. However, they are somewhat strategic, meaning that they are giving you the advice usually are much better in a longer term, which means that more than a year. For example, today I have CPA and business attorney specifically advising me how should I move my company direction if I have a new package, new services introducing into the market. What's the legal, legal aspect of it? What is the accounting aspect of it? That's what they do. Coach is another category. Now please don't confuse the coach with the sports terminology coach. It's a little bit different here. Coach, by definition, is somebody who can get the answer out of you and help you implement that. That's what they are trained to do. They are tactical in nature, and the reason is most human beings are somewhat reacting mode. Therefore, whatever the answers that you have probably is a shorter term, and that's what coach are best for. I remember many years ago, I had a marketing coach. He helped me really get the message out about my branding, about what kind of message I need to have consistently to do the branding to make sure my company stand out. I worked with Revel as a marketing coach for a two years period of time. Today, my marketing coach is completely different. We focus on strictly on all the external communication, how to erase the proper tension, so the reader or the prospect will, will be much favorable when we have a sales transaction. Moving along to the next category is called mentor. Mentor is someone who has been there and done that. Like the example that I gave you about Barbara, she was a chief information officer at the time. She had already been to the top. She knew what to do strategically. Again, they know how to put you on a strategic path to get to where you are, like what she did for me, putting into a leadership program for nine months period of time. Today, I have two mentors working with me. Each one of them owns hundreds of businesses out there and successfully able to exit their business as well. One of them, as a matter of fact, is the top industry leader in the field. Surround yourself with helpful people. Whether or not you surround yourself with consultant, advisor, mentor, or coach, they can help you along the way of your journey. Here are some suggestions for you. Number one, get a mentor or two. They are there to brainstorm your idea and bounce off your idea. Number two, be a mentor for someone else. The more you teach, the more you learn. So not only surrounding yourself with lots and lots of helpful people, be sure to be a helpful people to others. I'll see you next time. Thank you very much for watching. And remember to visit us on jollyjan.com and you can find today's material under the blog menu at our website. Until next time, you have a wonderful day.